Hey there folks, welcome to an episode of 401 Games' Let's Play. Today we are featuring a two-player game called Onitama, which is a dice tower essential. I'm joined today with uh, my friend Nathan, who is a regular here at 401 Games. Introduce yourself. Uh, I come here to play Magic and uh, I'm interested in playing some board games with you guys today. Cool. So Onitama is an elegant game of martial arts tactics. It's quite similar to chess, um, where you are trying to defeat the other player's pieces. Now the point of the game is to either get your master onto the throne of your opponents, or to kill your opponent's master. Onitama differs from games like chess because there are only five moves in the game which are randomly selected each time you set up the game. So for today, we've got the cobra, the crane, the rooster, the crab, and the boar. If you take a look at the move card, for example, you'll notice that the black square is the placement of your pawn and any of the colored squares is a legal move. Once I use a move, it goes into the middle and I draw the middle card. So in that way, you only have two moves at a time open to you as a player. And once you use a move, you open it up to be available for your opponent. So sometimes you gotta be a little strategic in which moves you keep to yourself and which moves you wanna use right away. So Nathan, why don't we uh, start off with, with the friendly game. Uh, how the first player is determined is the number of colored stamps that correspond to your color. So for example, I'm the blue player, and you'll see on each card in the bottom right hand corner there's a, a colored stamp, whereas on the rooster it's red, this one's blue. Um, but it looks like there are more red stamps in the game since you and I are both tied. Wow. Anyway, so yeah, the middle card tends to be the deciding factor, so that one's red. Uh, which means red player goes first. Alright, well first off, um, I would do a simple move of moving up one space. That's the boar move? The boar. But you know what? Let's uh, let's get some blood. So I'm gonna kill that guy with the boar, and he's gone. Mm -hmm. And I will get back the crane. All right. So I'm one guy down. I mean, my master knows his stuff, <laughs> and he's looking at this puny guy, <laughs> going, "What? What? Are you, what are you doing? What, what, are, what are you doing? You're nothing. Oh You're no." In. Cobra. I, my guy definitely got cobra right now. Yeah. Attack violently when your opponents are not expecting it. Show leisure in the beginning, then suddenly attack vigorously. I, I think I think I cobra quite I believe effectively. You did there. <laughs> I would like to say these two are now friends with I, each other. Yeah, they're <laughs> in they the are. afterlife together. Yes. There's, there's no more war. Just it's... friendship. <laughs> just just friendship. If you're a really good chess player, this game is probably going to be uh, easy to pick up for you. It's quite easy to learn. I mean, this is Nathan's first time playing this game, um, and he's already caught the gameplay. Yes. It's just the strategy is really random. It's very, very deep, which is really good. I mean, this is a very portable game. There's only five pieces per player. You don't really have to keep track of that many pieces. And it's meant to be a quick game. You know how chess can take forever, literally. And if you're not so great at chess, you can play this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to move him over here with the crab. Cool. My whole plans are done now. <laughs> So with Koba, even though he's not doing as good as last time, I will move one over with him. It's okay, you're, you're like the baby Cobra. <laughs> the baby Cobra. You're, you're hunting, <laughs> you're not killing yet.
This is not good. Uh, so the score is now my three guys to one. <laughs> can you single-handedly <laughs> take down my army? I'm just gonna take my sweet time getting over to you. Oh, Fun. Why would you be so rude? I'm coming. Um. I think your last hope is to try and get make a pass for my throne. Oh, if the guy gets to the throne, then you also win. Yeah. I also win. Oh. Yeah. But good luck with that. No, but the only part is me getting to your throne. Well, let him get there. Exactly. Yes. Yes, I think I shall. I shall do that. Moving my guy over here with Cobra. Oh, that's just a rube. No, I mean, you can't walk in a straight line to my throne and think there aren't consequences. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ooh. Um. I will bore it over here. I'm gonna bore it. I'm gonna bore it. I'm gonna bore it. All right. Cobra it back oh, onto my All right. comfy throne. I, I can respect that. <laughs> I can respect that. People on this video are gonna be like, "That was the wrong move." It was. <laughs> what are you Little doing? Little does Nathan I know. know. I know. Dun, dun, dun. All the YouTube comments here—they come. <laughs> I'm coming for your secret recipe, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh I am now the Rooster King. Oh, and you will notice that you have no move. No. no so. He can't jump on your head while no, he's doing this one? I, <laughs> who are you, Mario? I know. Wrong game. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not good. I do believe. That uh, may be game. I, I believe that's game, but I I'm either, just going to go there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, next move, I would use my boar. I would have either killed him or taken his throne. Yeah. Yeah. Because you would have to legally, you would have to move to save yourself. Have to move. And just... vacate. Oh, I guess I, guess I could have just run down these stairs and just been like, see ya. You should have really <laughs> Yeah. Peace. <laughs> so thank you, Nathan. Uh, tell me honestly. What did you think of this game as a two-player game? Well, it was uh, quite fun. It's a bit more entertaining, shall I say, than uh, chess itself, because obviously there was a bit more flavor to the game, and uh, it's much, much easier to handle. But at the same time, the randomness makes it more interesting than just a regular chess game. So uh, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Yeah, do you think this is a good game to bring out on a date? Um, hopefully she's not too competitive, or he is, <laughs> but besides that, no, yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun, and uh, it's what you both make of it, and clearly we had a great time playing it as well, and uh, I hope you guys do as well. Yeah, all right, thanks a lot for joining me, Nathan, on this episode of Let's Play. If you guys would like to check out Onitama, it is available at the 401 Games shop in-store or online at 401games.ca. <laughs>